Hello, my name is Purvash and my group consists of uh, Rakshit Kalmadi, Rion, Sampak Kumar MG. So we are going to present on the topic of connecting Raspberry Pi via SSH. So uh, at the beginning we will say, uh, see what is Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a small size computer that plugs into your monitor or TV and a keyboard. It is capable of little PC which can be used for many of the things that your desktop PC does. It was created by Eben Upton who is the CEO of Raspberry Pi Foundation. So Raspberry Pi Foundation goal is to see it being used all kids over the world to the in the programming. So uh, here we will see uh, how the Raspberry Pi board is. So coming up to the top, uh, you can see uh, there are about 20 to 24 pins that are the input and output general pins for, for connecting of the electronic components. And uh, to the uh, to my uh, right corner at the top, we can see the rectangular that is the Ethernet port. We can connect to Ethernet cables via this port. So below that we can see the two USB ports, uh, it, it is uh, of USB 2.0 and 3.0 and uh, uh, below that we can see audio jack, camera module port and two HDMI ports uh, for video, visual effects, visual views mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and a single micro USB power at the bottom and to my left it's, uh, uh, there is a micro SD, uh, SD card port. Next. So we'll, uh, now we will see what is SSH. So SSH is also known as Secure Shell or Secure Socket Shell. is a network protocol that gives user particular system administrators a, a secure way to access a computer over a insecure network. Uh, basically we have seen uh, many HTTP. So uh, in this HTTP, uh, for this HTTP, we have, if you want to secure, we use uh, SSH so that uh, we can get service via uh, HTTPS. Uh, so SSH also refers to suite of utilities that implement the SSH protocol. Secure Shell provides strong password authentication and public key authentication as well as encrypted data communication between two computers connected over an open, uh, open network such as internet. So this SSH is a feature in Linux that allows you to effectively open a, a terminal session in, a, in your Raspberry Pi from the command line uh, of your host computer. Next. So next topic will be explained by Rian. Hello, uh, my topic, I'm going to be explaining communicating with Raspberry Pi. So there are two basic methods to communicate with Raspberry Pi. One is wired and the other one is wireless. So wired method, we can directly plug in a keyboard and monitor or uh, in wireless method, we can uh, use Raspberry Pi over the network via SSH. Next. So connecting Raspberry Pi via SSH. So to connect Raspberry Pi uh, via SSH, uh, we must uh, know that uh, Raspberry Pi comes uh, with uh, SSH disabled. So first we have to enable SSH. To enable the SSH, we must connect the Raspberry Pi to the local network and make sure that the Raspberry Pi is connected to the same network as the computer you want to use SSH into. So to enable SSH on your Raspberry Pi, you can do this by opening the terminal window on the Raspberry Pi and running the command sudo config. This will bring up the Raspberry Pi configuration tool. Then you navigate to interfacing options, then select SSH. Choose yes to enable SSH and then select finish to exit the tool. Next. So here the first uh, picture shows the uh, interface it opens when we uh, uh, type uh, the command sudo recipe config. Uh, here the seventh options we get advanced options. When we click on it we get the second picture, second picture menu which is uh, the options. Here the fourth option is SSH, we must enable it and select, then uh, select OK and enable it. Next. Next will be continued by Sankar. Uh, I'm 
So, uh, to uh, to SSH into the Raspberry Pi uh, from the Windows computer, so first we must uh, must use the Putty. Uh, so that is an open uh, source SSH uh, platform. So you can download it uh, from the Putty dot org uh, website. So uh, connect your Windows computer to the same network as which is connected to the Raspberry Pi, and make sure uh, that the both the Windows computer and the Raspberry Pi are connected on the same local network. So that is the same Wi-Fi network. Next. So uh, and then what you have to do is you have to find this IP address of uh, this device. So you can do this by logging into your router's web interface and finding your device list uh, which are connected, and you can find this Raspberry Pi, and you can get the IP address. So alternatively, if you have a display connected to your Raspberry Pi, you can run ifconfig command uh, in the terminal. Uh, to find its IP address. So uh, next, what you have to do is you have to open Putty on your Windows computer. So you should see a window with the host name, uh, which is the IP address field, and enter this IP address of the Raspberry Pi uh, in this field, and make sure that the SSH protocol is selected. And then you have to click on the Open button at the bottom of the Putty window. So this will open a new terminal window. So you will be prompted uh, for a username and password for the Raspberry Pi, which has a default username of uh, Pi and a password of Raspberry. So enter these details and press Enter. So once you have uh, entered your username and password, so you will have uh, logged into your Raspberry Pi via SSH. So uh, you can either enter a command in the Putty terminal window. And they will be executed on the Raspberry Pi. So uh, when you are done with your like uh, code and uh, when you have tested it, you can exit uh, this uh, Raspberry Pi from the Putty window like by typing the command as exit, and this will log you out of the Raspberry Pi. So here uh, is a simple image of the Putty configuration where you can see where you can write your host name and you have to select the SSH uh, uh, where the radio button is there. And then you have to click open uh, to access the uh, SSH uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So thank you. 